Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're doing our fourth and final part of the build of the LEGO City Police Station. This is how far we've made it in three parts. So we have the bulk of the police station built, we have all of the vehicles, all the minifigures. Well, I think there is one more minifigure that we haven't built yet. But what we're building now is the jail cell portion of this station. So the station's complete, the jail has not been built yet. So we're onto our last instruction book and our last three bags of parts. So that's gonna start with bag number eight. So let me have this tilted down like that. We'll open this up and get going. All right, so there's all of our parts for bag eight. Not a lot of parts, but here is the final minifigure as I was saying. So it's our, um, our bad guy that's in jail. So he's sweating for some reason. I guess he may be working out or something in jail. So he's got sweat running down his face. And then he's just wearing his, um, I guess, Lego City issued prisoner outfit so put him over there with the other bad guy figures so let's begin the jail cells so we have a couple parts over here I need to grab one of them being this 8 by 16 plate and we're gonna start with some tall bricks And a corner brick. So we've got the frames and we have the little jail bar pieces. Those two will go there. Now we have another frame with a solid white panel on it. That will just go there. Another frame and jail bar. So I guess this is the different cells. Two of the Technic bricks. Technic bricks have a hole in it. And four two by two bricks. more Technic bricks on top of those, and then we're gonna put these friction pins inside both of those. All right, another frame with the jail bars. This goes here. And another frame with the jail door. So all of them have been just the bars until this one. And this one is the actual door. You see it opens, whereas all these other bars do not open at all. This is kind of cool if you're into this, but it's a toilet. So this toilet, turn this around, they show it in the instructions like that. I'm not sure if it really matters or not, but I'm just gonna match the picture. And then this is going to be the bed. Or one of the beds, I guess. This piece there, this piece here. Couple one by ones. And a long brick across the top. Now we have an assortment of plates. And we have three of these panels 
go there. close to finishing this bag. What do we have next? We'll turn this around to see these panels. We have three grill tiles and then two of the one by three tiles. All right, that is the beginning of the jail cell. Completes bag number eight. So let's move on to bag number nine right now. Okay, we have all the bag nine parts out. And I'm going to begin by building something not on the jail cell just yet. sure what this is I think well I don't know what this is this is new to me I kind of see where it's at on the instructions but I mean on the, the box art but I'm trying to figure out what, exactly what it is Got a couple tiles there two brick here. sticker on this. It's just an arrow. And the arrow is pointing up. That goes there. So it slides back and forth there. Put a couple bricks on here. See, it still slides, but it just barely moves now because of the, the bricks are holding it in place. That, this is another sticker. Kind of a cool sticker, it's a fan blade. You can see that little blade there. That piece goes there. Slide that through, attach this Technic part to it. Like that. I have another one, but this one has a little toe ball piece on it. Goes like that. It's kind of creates this little lever that you can turn. Now we have this Technic shock absorber piece. Put a couple non friction pins on there and some Technic bricks. Attach those to a plate and a 1x3 arched brick. That'll go there. And we bring this whole thing over. Attach that like that. Hmm. Interesting. 
Okay, so the next thing is a few more plates. This one goes on that. There. There. Now we have another 2x4 plate. Attach these little plates with the bars on them. A green and a red stud and three slotted tiles. Clip there. And that goes there. And they show us turning this, I guess, to trigger that in place. You push that in, it, it's going to release something. All right, so that is good to go. The whole thing attaches on top of this piece that we built earlier just like that cool so now moving on to our tenth and final bag all right we have everything dumped out for the last bag of parts start with this trap door frame attach some plates Have a decorated panel. It's one by eight bricks. There's also some one by six bricks in this bag, so just make sure you use the right length. Now we can use our one by sixes. And another trap door frame. We'll go right there. And this will actually get a trap door on top. So that clips in with a stud there so you can open it up. Bring this back over. That goes there. See that leads you to the bottom cell. Alright, so let's continue building on top of this. It's really just the second level and then the roof of it will be done. Two frames with the jail cell doors. One there and one here. And the solid panel. And guess what time it is? Last sticker time. That white sticker is not quite the same color as the panel. The panel is actually more of a creamy white. Kind of looks like ice cream color. So that sticker stands out as actually being a sticker because it's whiter than the panel. It's okay though.
building another toilet. Goes there with a jumper tile there. Some more bars. This one's supposed to be turned around like that. They all are. there. One by threes. light details They're both the same put these double wide baby bow shapes on to hold them in place and two more roof panels skip the part with the bed. Oh, it was when I was doing the toilet. So the inside here we have that bed there and it's like a secret compartment bed. Okay. So now we have the last wall panel. that have the jail cell bars on them. And this gets three of the cheese slopes. I mean, five, because I, can, I know how to count. simply go right there. So now it looks like I'm gonna pop this panel off. Looks like I forgot to put one brick right on there. Put that on there. All right so the play feature is you open this thing up, push the button, and you see the wall panel busts out. And if you remember from part one, we have these little sticks to dynamite. So the way the play feature is you, the bad guys are putting it in there. And then your three, two, one, it explodes. So that is pretty cool. So, Let's go ahead and connect this to the police station. I'm gonna move this up a little bit so we can kind of see what's going on. There we go. Move the box out of the way so we have a little bit more room. So we have these Technic pins on this side. And then over here you have the uh, pin holes and those line up just like that. Now if we turn around in, I guess it was part two of the build, I had mentioned that I was curious about that sticker right there. It says, welcome home. And I was like, maybe this is a sarcastic sticker for the 
prisoners that are um, coming to the jail cell and this is your new home and wouldn't you know it that's exactly what it is so it says welcome home obviously no one wants to live in a jail cell unless you're you know someone that's up to no good and this is going to be your home for a very long time because of your poor life decisions so yeah it was kind of a funny joke of this is your home get used to it it's really a jail cell all right so let's look at everything we have we have the, uh, the helicopter all the way at the top there fits on the helipad area we have this utility truck and then this is how it's how the bad guys sneak in so you have the the one lady who's driving I'll go ahead and put her in here there you go she goes like that and then you have this guy who's pretending to work on the the police station but what he's really doing is planting the bomb so he's in there our prisoner he can be in here somewhere let's say let's put him on bed right there um, we have the police car we saw that in the last video where I was showing you how this little launcher piece works. Here's the, well, this isn't the pilot. This is the motorcycle cop. So you got a motorcycle. You have this female police officer. You have this guy, the male police officer this is the helicopter pilot so I'll put her up there with the helicopter and then you have a police dog and another stick of dynamite so typical Lego city with um, a lot of crime in it that's why you always need all these police vehicles and the the police officers in Lego City always seem to be not paying attention because it's pretty obvious that that guy is planting some sort of explosive device on the jail cell. So not quite sure what they're always doing or looking at, but they never seem to be paying attention to the obvious. But the whole point of it though is just to, to have fun with it, use your imagination. Obviously this is pretty obvious what's going on, but you can pretend that um, maybe they're busy at the computer looking at YouTube videos, not paying attention to what's going on in the city. So that's it for this one. Thanks again for watching. Check out all the other videos that I have on my channel. I got a ton of Lego City stuff. If you watched all four parts of this, then you're my biggest fan. Let me know because uh, I love my biggest fans out there. And I know there's people out there that watched all four parts. So I want you to let me know by putting a comment down below. Tell me which part of the set is your favorite. There's a lot of stuff going on with it. Um, you know, one of my favorite things in there is the water cooler. So we built that in part two of this build. Really, really cool little detail and it looks great. So you tell me what's your favorite part. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next one.